and uh, certainly I'm not going to uh, drive uh, this country or the world into a frenzy. We want to show confidence. We want to show strength. We want to show strength as a nation. And that's what I've done. And we've done very well. We've done well from any standard. President Trump defending himself just within the past hour against explosive revelations from a new book written by Bob Woodward of the Washington Post. In audio tapes released this afternoon, the president is heard admitting he purposely downplayed the dangers of coronavirus at the start of the pandemic. Those new audio tapes also show the president knew how deadly the virus was, even while saying something very different to the American public. CBS4 correspondent Skylar Henry has more now on the shocking audio tapes released this afternoon and the reaction to them. President Trump knew the coronavirus was far more deadly than what he was saying publicly as far back as February 7th. Late last night, I had a very good talk with President Xi and we talked about mostly about the coronavirus. That day, he discussed the threat posed by the virus in an interview with journalist Bob Woodward for his new book, Rage, which is published by Simon & Schuster, a division of Viacom CBS. You just breathe the air, and that's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. This was President Trump speaking in New Hampshire less than a week later. By April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. Rough stuff, I tell you, rough, rough stuff. But I think it's going to work out good. We only have 11 cases, and they're all getting better. A month later, the president admitted to Woodward he minimized the danger. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. The White House says the president doesn't bear responsibility for the coronavirus spread because he was displaying good leadership by preventing a national panic. The president has never lied to the American public on COVID. The president's been very, the president was expressing calm and his actions reflect that. Campaigning in Michigan, Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden called it a disgrace and a dereliction of duty. He had the information. He knew how dangerous it was. And while this deadly disease ripped through our nation, he failed to do his job on purpose. It was a life and death betrayal of the American people. Woodward writes that President Trump never seemed willing to mobilize the federal government, preferring to let states handle the crisis. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Much more to come on this story. Bob Woodward recorded 18 on-the-record interviews with President Trump for that book. Bob Woodward will appear on 60 Minutes to discuss his book this Sunday.